Oh, hello. I just moved into a new apartment and there is a distinct lack of lamps. There are zero lights in the living room. No lights. So that means I'm gonna have to build some lamps. Yay! But I had the idea that instead of making a bunch of different lamps, what if I made one lamp that I could just bring from room to room with me and use wherever I was? So I went to the flea market and I got this old school lantern thing and I'm gonna turn that into a little lamp that I can carry around. Maybe I'll wear some fancy pajama dresses or something when I do it. We'll see. Okay, first step is to see if I can figure out how to take this thing apart. Let's see, this looks like it lifts. It does lift, look at that. All right, so that lifts. Glass is in there somehow. There's a lever here. If I lift this, hold that up, push this lever. Oh, check that out. Oh, come on. What? Put this down. Is this to, oh. So this tilts. Got the glass out. Okay, okay. So I tilt this up now. Is that, okay, okay. I can let go of this. Put it back. All right, now this thing, I want this thing out of here. Um, looks like I should be able to just twist it. Oh, nice. All right, so that's, that's out. Does this come out? All right, and that comes out. Step one, done. Jensen's on vacation this week, so let me give you a quick overview of the super simple electronics that's gonna make this thing work. So we have one half of a wireless charging unit plugged into 12 volts. Now when I put the other half on top of that, it'll send out five volts. So we run that through a voltage step up circuit, which will output 12 volts to the LEDs and turn them on. See, super simple. I'll put links down in the description for all the parts I used in case you wanna make something like this yourself. Okay, now let's finish putting it together.
One thing I want to note real quick is it didn't work the first time I tried it because it seemed like the power wasn't transferring through the metal base of the lantern. So I drilled a hole in the bottom, stuck a piece of wood on there, and then it worked just fine. Hey, that's fun. Now I just need to make a couple more of these bases and it'll work in any room of the house. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and on the screen here, if you see your name, send me a message because you won one of the little resin wood pieces from last week. So send me a message and I'll send you one of these things. Okay, bye!